Hey guys and welcome to Cyber Cypher and today I came with a very very different video so today in this video we are going to jailbreak this iPad well actually this iPad is already jailbroken but the jailbroke is turned off because of some circum circumstances so you can see that I have jailbroken this iPad and then I'm going to do it again for the sake of this video so let's get started <laughs> So for starting with the jailbreak, you should just get into recovery mode and I'm going to restore the iPad very soon because then only I can show you how to jailbreak it. So I'll get into recovery mode very soon. So yeah. So you can see that we got into the recovery mode. So now let's restore the iPad very soon. So now iPad is restoring. So if you want to jailbreak your iPad, even though your iPad is working well, you should just restore because all your data and your uh, your account will be deactivated if Apple gets to know that you are jailbreaking your i device. So you should make sure that your you just proceed with a clean installation of iOS in your i device. So guys, the iPad has been entirely restored and it's ready for jailbreaking process. So now let's proceed with the jailbreak. So for proceeding with the jailbreak, I need a computer, right? So you may need a software called as 3U Tools. So you can download it. So let me go to my computer. So now I'm in some computer. So let's just open 3U Tools. If you didn't download the 3U tools, you can just go and download 3U tools very soon. 3U tools, just type it, and here we have 3U.com. Just go and download this tool. So this tool is used uh, widely for uh, for iOS devices, uh, not only for jailbreaking. So I've already downloaded that. So I'll open 3U tools. So you can see that uh, we've opened the 3U tools. So please connect your iDevice to PC. So let's just connect uh, i device. I mean, in this case, it's iPad. So let's connect it to the PC right here. So it's connected to the PC down there. So let's just insert the charger cable very soon. Just like that. So now we have connected the iPad. So we can see it. So now, um, in this 3U tools window we can see that our iPad is fully recognized and we do also have uh, everything so for jailbreaking make sure that your iPad is unlocked so let's unlock the iPad okay so the iPad has been unlocked now here you will see the jailbreak and uh, you can see something called as jailbreak now click on that and then you can see that we have only one option for jailbreaking this particular iPad and uh, if it is uh, it, it will change according to your iPad or iPhones or iPod model so I'll just select Phoenix because that is the only option left so start jailbreak so once you do it one thing you should make sure is make sure that your security I mean Windows Defender have been turned off because that will interrupt and now in the iPad it will automatically launch settings and it will load a profile so we can see that we have loaded a profile so let's click on that and click on it you can see that it's verified already but you should verify it so click trust trust and then we are done so let's just go to home and then at the home we can see that Phoenix is right there so this is the phoenix application we are going to use this so open phoenix very soon and you can see that your ipad 2 comma 1 is not jailbroken click prepare for jailbreak and just accept it dismiss proceed with jailbreak 
and now now let's click begin installation and then just provide offsets so now this will start the jailbreak this will and you can see sometimes you'll get this error just click done because that's the, the that's some bug so you will get this error but that that does not mean that your ipad is uh, does not have enough space so you can see that the ipad is rebooting so now you can see that the it has been restarted so actually the ipad is not have not restarted it is it is just respringed so it is completely different and now you can see a new app called as Cydia but now if you open Cydia it won't open so this is because the jailbreaking process is not completed yet so let's go back and let's launch Phoenix again and then when you open Phoenix so the phoenix is crashing sometimes uh, your uh, apps will be crashed so don't worry just uh, close all the background apps and launch phoenix again so you can see that your ipad 2 is jailbroken you may launch syria from the home screen so you should just try it again and again if you get any errors or else syria crashes or something like that sometimes you need to just kickstart the jailbreak for for several times to get into the jailbroken mode but sometimes it will just uh, jailbreak at the first try so let's now launch Syria so how to figure out whether you are jailbroken or not so it's so simple if you launch Syria launch uh, the Syria will be crashed so it is because of the jailbreak and process is not completed yet so you should just verify that you are uh, jailbroken device fully jailbroke or not because without jailbreaking Syria won't be coming up so sometimes you will get this database errors just don't worry because it is some um, some of the repository errors so you will see that two essential upgrades so the main thing in jailbreak is you should just update everything and you should be in up to date so let's click complete upgrade and then confirm and now this will just upgrade the Syria and its repositories so first before jailbreaking you should just keep these things in your mind so your device will be unstable sometimes or it can be corrupted it can be anything because uh, uh, so before jailbreaking you should just make sure this one thing that your device is in the in a danger process in, da in the danger position it's because when you're jailbreaking you are breaking the laws of Apple's firmware because Apple gives you some certain options with their OS but with jailbreaking you are just patching what Apple or uh, Apple are intended us to do we should just make sure that your iDevice is uh, fully wiped and it does not have any sensitive information or important documents or something like that make sure it's fully wiped and restored into a fresh version of ios so with that your iDevice will be very good and we can proceed with the jailbreak to the upgrade we can see that the syria uh, is is opened and everything is loaded so now we can download tweaks and stuff like that we can just go and uh, download everything so you just click install and confirm and I'm installing iFiles this is how you jailbreak your device so the reason why I jailbreak my device is because this since this is a very very old hardware because this is iPad 2 from it is almost uh, 11 years old and it is, it is launched in 2010 it seems like so it is so old and even iOS 9 is not working properly with this hardware because of uh, the older hardware and configuration so we should be make sure that our device runs good for us so that is the reason why i'm jailbreaking it so with jailbreak i can just install some tweaks and i can just modify the entire operating system to get the maximum things done with this ipad so what is the use what i'm going to do with this ipad is i'm going to use this as my secondary camera and then i'm going to use this as my secondary monitor sometimes i will browse facebook and youtube with this something like that 
so this is just going to be my media server and I'm going to store some photos and stuff like that so that is the use of this iPad uh, for me now so yeah now we can just click return to Syria so so this is how you install uh, things so I will just install all of my tweaks and then I'll show you guys later how it looks like So guys these are the things that I changed in this iPad with jailbreak so let me show you one by one first is the icons so I just minimized the icon size so it looks more elegant and more neat just like this and then I added this macOS dock animation just like that and we can just launch any apps like this or this just like that so we can launch anything with the animation and then the next is CC settings so CC settings is nothing but it just uh, adds more settings to this uh, control center and stuff like that you can see that it's so good and then Medusa for iPad so this nothing but if I go to settings and I want to open another app I can just swipe it and I can just select an app from here so this is not available in the stock iOS but it made possible with this jailbreak and then the next is no slow animations so this is nothing but it just turns off the slow animations and make the animation faster so your iPad will be very faster just like that when I launch an app it just opens right up instead of just uh, opening in a very slow animation which does looks good but it just consumes more resource in your iPad and then this is one of my favorite thing swipe home screen so imagine you have opened a list of apps let me just open so you can see that I have launched so many apps so let's go to background apps and we have so many applications right here so if I want to close it I just need to just scroll them one by one because we don't have close all button in iOS but with this tweak we can just close this home screen and then it just close all apps and then it will write up into a new desktop so with this we can just consume more time rather than just swiping every app one by one and then the next is swipe selection so I'll just go to spotlight search very quickly and I'll type a series of words just like that so I've typed a series of words right here and I want to just uh, go all the way to the middle I just need to just select on there and then I should just drag the magnifying thing all the way there but that's not more convenient right so we can use this entire keyboard as a cursor as a touchpad just like that we can just drag them all the way just like that or if you want to select something we can just click the caps lock and then we can just select the entire thing just like that so these are the main tweaks that I have installed in this iPad and there are some more tweaks they are so minor so you won't notice them so that's it for today guys I really hope that you enjoy this video I really hope that you have succeeded with your jailbreak and I'll see you guys in a later video bye